guys, so... And this is gonna be a pretty straightforward video in comparison to the title, so... Welcome to me drinking wine and thinking about college as I graduate. Reflection time, y'all. I graduate in two days, which is honestly just like so weird to think about. Like, I'm trying to just like think about my mental state when I first came to college and like who I was and what I wanted. Right before freshman year of college, I started keeping a diary of like everything, I guess. Okay, so, oh my god, this is so angsty. You, you probably can't see, but I'm gonna screenshot it so that you can see. The title is Searching, and then the, the under thing is everyone finds something to hold on to, because I was an angsty little, little baby. So I started this, and it's like completely on private, so like it doesn't, you can't get to it unless you have my password. She don't. Oh god, this is such a trip down memory lane. Okay. Oh my god, I totally forgot. When I was a senior in high school, right at the end of senior year, I kept this thing going where I did six word memoirs every day. So just basically six words about my day, whatever happened. If nothing happened, if I came up with like a poem, I would write like a line I liked, stuff like that. Or like song lyrics that were just really relevant to me, like stuck in my head. Something like that where it was just like in my head. And so all of them are on this blog. Oh my god. August... 2015. Oh my god, okay. I'm gonna read this. This is from August 20th, 2015. I moved into college today. How freaking weird is that? Nothing feels different just yet, but I'm sure it's just a matter of time. There was this comic type of guy tonight on campus named Kyle Cease. He was hilarious, but he was also motivational like the whole time. He had this whole message of follow your dreams because you can literally do anything that you want in life. His advice was to write out goals to accomplish by the end of the year, so I'm gonna do that. And here were my goals for freshman year. Oh man, this hurts. I really wanted to be a musician when I was a senior in high school. Like, I really thought that that's what the like path was for me and that was where I was gonna end up in life was in like New York City or LA making music as like a singer songwriter. That clearly didn't happen. I'm graduating college in two days. So the first one was get a record deal slash get noticed on some sort of a large scale. Why? Because music is my passion and to be able to pursue it as a full-time career would be amazing and make me ridiculously happy. I honestly think that I would have been miserable if I had been a musician as evidenced by the fact that I was in a band that was getting like not even success but just like vaguely to the point where like we had to like do work because people wanted to like have us play and stuff and I quit because it was too stressful. Record an album, also didn't happen. The next one was to lose weight, which is just like, yikes. I did lose a bunch of weight my freshman year of college because, actually only first semester I lost a bunch of weight because the dining hall on our campus is so disgusting that I would just not eat. You know, people put on the freshman 15, I had the freshman negative 15. Then I wanted to fall in love, which is, <sighs> That didn't happen. Oh, Jesus Christ. I forgot I got my heart broken for the first time my first semester of college. So I just had so much anxiety around this girl that I was like talking to and like kind of dating. Oh God, this was chaotic. But we like hooked up and then she was like, literally the next day was just like, so I know that we've been talking for like a month and like we've been hooking up and whatever, but like, you know, I'm actually still in love with my ex-girlfriend and hooking up with you made me realize that. And I was like, cool, 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 cool. Which was just, so that sucked. And that was really hard because I had been hanging out with her friends a ton, but they were all, you know, her friends first. And so I was just kind of like tossed aside. She graduated like a year early. I literally never saw her again, which is the, honestly, like a saving grace was the fact that every other person I've ever hooked up with in college, I see around constantly and I have to like interact with them. But I never saw her after freshman year, like literally zero times. I cannot think of a single instance where I saw her. She didn't go to any of the same parties I went to. She did nothing. I mean, not that... My freshman year, I didn't go to parties. I just sat and got drunk in my dorm room. That was that. I think going into freshman year, I was really anxious. I had a ton of panic attacks like all the time. I didn't know who my friends were. I didn't know like what my place was in New Paltz. I didn't know if I was gonna be smart enough for classes. Like I was so, so anxious all the time. And honestly, I was anxious all the time until like probably like this year, to be honest. I also tried to not go home my first semester of college until Thanksgiving, which didn't work because this whole thing happened and then I had like a breakdown and I was like, mom, please come pick me up. Cause I mean, I didn't have my license at the time so it didn't matter anyways, but we weren't allowed to have cars on campus. I'm just scrolling through my blog now. This is just hilarious. Oh man, I forgot I was supposed to go on a date with this girl that I knew from high school over Thanksgiving break my freshman year and it just totally bagged because gays can't drive and 
yeah. This is like this thing that I wrote on Thanksgiving from freshman year. I wrote, I've had a lot try to break me this year, but I've healed myself with music and writing each time. And of course, my new friends are the best and they never cancel on me or back out of plans and make me feel overwhelmingly ache, anxious. I'm default happy for the first time in a long time and these pictures explain why. And it's like a bunch of pictures of like my freshman year and all my friends and like my family. It's been a pretty good year other than the first month of school, aka anxiety heaven or haven. That's so weird. Now I'm just like recording me drinking wine and like scrolling through my old posts. Oh my god. Sorry, my camera battery was full, so I don't know where that cut off. Or not camera battery. My camera battery is full, but my camera card, memory card was full. Anyways, I was getting to the part where I'm probably gonna cry. The second half of freshman year, I dated this guy. He was really sweet and I forgot how good he was, I think, until I was just scrolling through. I like put a bunch of text between us in this thing and I really thought that I liked him. I just really really thought that I liked guys at that point and it's funny now when I mentioned that I had a boyfriend because people that know me now are just like I cannot imagine you being near a man and it's true. Even though it turned out that the feelings I had for him weren't really romantic, I still like talked to him every single day of spring semester of freshman year. Like every day we texted, talked on the phone like a few times, but like sent each other Valentine's and like I wrote him a song for Valentine's Day, which is chaotic to think about now. But I mean, that was my last Valentine. That's kind of weird. <laughs> I had to take my first like English classes here which were super fun and that was when I really really fell in love with English and I hadn't taken any creative writing classes yet but I really liked the literature classes that I took that semester. I took my first intro class and I took like my first kind of like elective English class that was like 20th century women writers but then we like literally started with the Hunger Games but it was a really cool class and I just it's something that still I like remember that class I remember how much I liked it to this day and then finished freshman year. I was so sad at the end of freshman year to have to go home. I was like I was so excited for sophomore year but it like wasn't the same. I mean I knew it wasn't gonna be the same because like I was living in a suite which I thought was gonna be better. It wasn't. And so yeah I went home for the summer. I just worked at like a summer camp all summer. I dated this girl for like a month who was like she was about to be a freshman at my school and she was from like a town over from me. I met her on tinder. But it was weird because I didn't realize until I came back sophomore year how young freshmen are at the beginning of freshman year. Like like they are babies. Not to say that they're not like smart and intelligent and like people, but it's just the, the differences in how much life you've lived when you come to school your freshman year versus your sophomore year is just like so radically different because it's like you've lived away from home and you've had all these experiences and you probably met all these people and like had falling outs with people and like who knows there's a lot that goes on freshman year it's honestly so chaotic but so we came back to school and i kind of like realized how different it was and it just we kind of mutually ghosted sophomore year was the fucking worst let me tell you that i started running towards the end of my freshman year and did like a 5k and whatever it was really fun sophomore year in this fall i ran like a 5k on like thanksgiving first semester was all right from what i can remember i started going out because i met my friend izzy and we would go out together like pretty much every weekend and that made like my friends from freshman year just act weird towards me because none of them liked going out. They didn't want to go out. It wasn't even like they tried to go out and they didn't like it. They just didn't have any desire to go in public. And I was like, I'm like recently gay and I'm cute and I'm fun. I'm gonna go out, whatever. It was not a good time for me personally because it just was so hard trying to navigate between being like a good friend to my friends who didn't want to go out and doing what I wanted to do and then also balancing school and then spring semester I started training for a half marathon so I was going out at least once a week and like I was going out like I was going out staying out all night coming back sleeping all day the next day like going out like usually at least once a week if not twice a week going out I was so so depressed next level depressed I thought no one cared about me I was so miserable I'm in a place where I have like such a future ahead of me that I'm so excited to get to figure out how it's gonna play out and the thought of where I was where I was having this mental breakdown and I was sitting in my room under my like college issue desk just like crying and listening to like the most depressing music like like writer with a pen by 21 pilots it was 
a very rough time. Sophomore year sucked, but I got through it. I ran a lot. I trained really, really hard for my half marathon, and then I ran it that summer. It was amazing, and then I stopped running for a while because that's generally what I do. <laughs> I ran myself out, which really sounds in sophomore year sucked. I kind of fell in love for the first time. I don't know. I dated a couple of people that year. Some were better than others. Some were using me for self-validation. Most. Yeah, most, I would say. And, like, I dated a lot of girls who were bi that, like, I feel like were dating me to prove to themselves that they were bi. I was not- it's not like I was, like, a super experienced gay, so, like, that didn't work super well. So sophomore year is summer, I ran a half marathon, and then I worked all summer. Is that when I got my license? Oh, another thing that happened sophomore year. This is a big thing that I feel like I should talk about. Trump got elected. I have really distinct recollections of the night of the 2016 election. So I went over to this girl that I was seeing. I don't know if I was seeing her yet or if I just had a crush on her. I don't even know. But anyways, I was over at her apartment. It was me, her, and my friend Izzy. And we like got a pizza and like mozzarella sticks. And we were like, oh my God, Hillary's gonna win. This is gonna be so fun. Like let's do marinara shots was like our, our joke. And so we were hanging out and eating and we're sitting there and you know, around like 11 o'clock it became like pretty clear that Trump was gonna win. And just the like pure despair and like the disbelief when me and Izzy were walking back to this week. Cause that was when she she moved out like second semester but first semester she lived with us and just like the pure like disbelief that we were experiencing I can't even like believe it the like pain that we were all in and I walked into the suite and I remember walking into my suite and everyone was so upset because I mean most of my friends are like queer or just not fucking idiots basically and I just remember walking into the suite and like sitting there and I like make jokes when I'm really really upset like that's something that just like I don't know I use humor to cope I feel like a lot of people do that I can eat mozzarella now I remember I made this joke it was something about like Halsey and like New Americana and I don't even remember the joke I was also a little bit drunk and I also don't remember what my roommate said but she just snapped at me and it was nasty and obviously I was upset because I'm a fucking woman and I just remember going in my room and just crying for like 20 30 minutes maybe i was just crying because it was like so much and so overwhelming and i didn't sleep well that night i think i probably went to sleep at like three and woke up at 7 a.m because i was just like i can't sleep whatsoever and i remember i woke up and i watched 10 things i hate about you for the first time and i just sat in our common room and like my roommates kind of slowly woke up and all came out and then we all just like cried together which was an experience we all just sat on the floor and like sobbed for a while. It was very, it was very cathartic in some ways. Me and my my roommate Alyssa, who's gonna be my roommate this next year, we went and got our eyebrows waxed because we had appointments. We were like, he's not taking this from us. I remember going outside the day after the election, which is my brother's birthday, and I feel so bad that he had to have that on his birthday. But the entire town was just silent, and it was like this really weird gray rainy day. So it was just silent and rainy. So junior year. <laughs> I got my car right before junior year, which was great. Loved that. And by got my car, I mean got my license and then got the car that had been waiting for me for like a few months. Because my grandma got a new one. A few months, six months, a year, I can't remember. This is the content y'all are here for, right? Me eating mozzarella cheese while I'm tipsy. I met my friend Bailey junior year, which was super fun and amazing and I love her and I miss her. I got my heart broken again. I started dating this girl in the summer and we did like long distance for like a little over a month. Like I went and visited her and I was super into it. Like I was like literally like, I was like falling in love with her. I was like almost there. I wrote this, hmm, I wrote a song about her, which was beautiful and it's still my favorite song probably that I've ever written. And it irritates me that she dumped me via text message after we've been dating for two months, but. It's fine. But yeah, junior year, I like really got into like academics and like English stuff. Junior year, I took this class called Multi-Ethnic and Diasporic Literature where we read like all these books that I loved so much. Like to this day, like they're some of my favorite books like House on Mango Street, Interpreter of Maladies, Americana by Ngozi Chimamanda. These amazing books that just were like so diverse and like contemporary and modern, which is not something that you see in a lot of English classes. And I think that it really contextualized what an English degree can be because I'm, I mean, I'm a writer. I've always loved writing. I like writing poetry and fiction and I think that seeing what was being created right now was super awesome. Oh, also my sophomore year, I started taking creative writing classes here, which was so fun. I love the creative writing faculty here. They're amazing. And so junior year, I took that class, I took my first craft course. Cause like basically the way that it works here is you have, you take two like kind of more like 
creative writing survey courses. You have to take two of those and then you take either one craft course if you're a minor in creative writing and then two craft courses if you're a major in creative writing. And so since I was a major at the time, I was taking one, then I ended up taking another and switching majors. It doesn't really matter. You don't care that much. Anyway, so then I was taking craft of fiction, which is like a fiction writing class, and it sucked. My professor taught me literally nothing. His feedback was kind of garbage, to be completely honest. I think that he was smart and he was really good in his field, which was more like translation studies, but I was not really writing anything that I think he was equipped to deal with. That sounds really shitty, but just like what I was writing wasn't his specialty and he was very specialized. And so it was hard for him to give good feedback. I mean, everyone in that class hated the class. I got better feedback from my peers than I did from my professor, which should never be the case in my opinion, whatever. I also started going to therapy then because after I got dumped, I was just like so, so miserable that I was like, I need to talk to someone about this. And yeah, so that was great. I'm still with my same therapist. I love her to death. I saw her today actually. What else happened junior year? I abandoned the blog thing. Due to the level of drunkenness that I was at at this point in recording the video, I did not say a complete sentence, but basically my camera stopped recording because I sat still for too long and it like automatically stops recording. Which is why I'm getting a new camera, but man, I'm gonna hate editing this. I dated this girl spring of my junior year who we had a really weird relationship because she had just gotten out of a long-term relationship and didn't want to really date anyone like officially but she wanted to do all the things that you would do if you were dating and so it was these really mixed signals and it was really difficult for me to deal with and it was really bad for my mental health to be honest and I just kind of ignored it. I knew I was like setting myself up to get kind of heartbroken and yeah so I just kind of was dealing with that weird stuff I got. I turned 21 so I started going to bars. I spent way too much money at said bars. I definitely I had some bad nights. I also got into grad school my spring of junior year because I'm in like a accelerated like bachelor's master's program so I started taking master's classes like this summer between junior and senior year so that's what I did then I took my first one credit class it was great I loved it we met like twice over the whole like two month span that it was running and we had a blackboard post once a week which is like the online blog thing I also after junior year I moved into this house over the summer which was my first summer not living back in Rochester which was really sad I honestly I don't regret living here in the summer. I feel like sometimes you have to do things that you think you're gonna like and then end up not liking and it's not that you regret doing them, it's just that you wish that you hadn't had to do them to see that you didn't want them. If that makes sense. Like I realized that I want to live in Rochester like long term and I think that one of the reasons why I realized that is being here in the summer I was like so homesick and I've been homesick like this entire year because I didn't have my like two months at home and so I think living here like really made me realize what I want and what I want is to live in Rochester but I don't so cheers y'all. This year was hard, really hard. Took my first grad classes, turned 22. What else did I do this year? My grandpa died and I had to like kind of work through that. I learned that some professors are really shitty when you have a death in the family and they don't cut you any slack and they keep being just as harsh as they would be if you hadn't had your first grandparent ever die, <laughs> which was really, that was kind of like after that experience, I was like, wow, do I really want to be in academia if it's going to be with people like this? Like, is this the kind of environment that I want to be in? Because it's one of those environments where when I'm mentally stable and good, I don't really mind it, but if I'm miserable, then I am. <laughs> miserable. What else happened this year? That's pretty much it, I think. I didn't know when I sat down to film this what this was gonna be, but I guess now I'll just talk a little bit about like beginning of college to end of college. I think that one thing that really stands out to me as a difference is just like my confidence in myself. Sometime around like junior year, I just like said fuck it. I don't care what people think about me anymore. Like I'm gonna talk in class. I used to be terrified to talk in class. Like I never talked in classes my freshman or sophomore years, but then junior year I was just like, no, you know what I'm gonna start participating in class like I have things to say I'm just gonna start saying them and it honestly was like the best decision I've ever made because now I have professors who I had like good relationships with and who I can like talk to and all this like I have professors who know my name and probably remember me whereas before before junior year my professors probably don't know me if they didn't have me again College was great and I feel really weird that it's over now. Like really weird. It still hasn't sunk in. I mean I'm still here for grad school in the fall but it's gonna be different because all the people in my class are like gonna be gone and it's just, it's not the same. <sighs> 
and I feel weird and kind of bad about it. It's so weird because it's like I've worked so hard to get to this point and it's like what are you working for? You're working to work more but it's like working in a way that's more what you want so that you can actually have what you want. I just am so grateful that I was that I'm privileged enough to get to go to college and that I'm privileged enough to have had the support and love around me that I've had and I feel really weird at the end of this video. I sure did talk. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Bye.